Okay, guys. I'm going to show you a little bit of my shooting style. Not that you'd want to copy it. <laughs> but uh, this is just how I shoot. I'm going to run a few arrows through this 50 pound black swan. And uh, you can see how I shoot. You can see all the different kind of arrows I'm shooting here. Different weights and tips and so forth. I kind of like to do that to myself. Um, I just go ahead and tell you. I shoot an assortment of stuff. Um, not when I'm competing, but when I feel when I pick up an arrow, I want my body to tell me how that arrow is going to shoot. And believe it or not, you can do that. You can just pick up random arrows, and pretty soon your body says, "Hey, you know, it just knows what to do to correct it." Uh, it's pretty awesome. So anyway, here's my shooting style. I have, um, I'll go ahead and go through this for some of my students if y'all want to watch this video. I like a, just a slight bend in the knees, not lock knees, just unlock them. I square up my shoulder, I square it to the target. I maybe cant it off about five degrees off of target to give me a little open area. So I'm not like this, I'm about five to ten degrees off the target, <clears throat> target line. I shoot three under with a patch or glove. Um, I shoot a relaxed hand. I let the bow find its comfortable place in my hand. When I draw back, I put my middle finger in the corner of my mouth, my pointer finger on my eye tooth, touch my nose to the cock feather. I feel the bony prominences in my face. And when I release, I let it go. Hold the bow up as if I'm gonna take your picture after the shot. And I'm not big on drawing low coming up or coming down or straight. Yes, there are some benefits and, and drawbacks to each style. Um, I can tell you coming up like this, if you have shoulder trouble, I, I own a physical therapy clinic, you can, you can have a little trouble with that in your shoulders. Uh, coming down can scare game. Drawing through like this is best for hunting. Um, but I find that people who come up or that come down, somehow their body, they tend to range the distance better. Somehow their body's going through some calculations doing that. So whatever works for you. And I rushed that one a little bit. That's with a locked anchor, and after the shot stayed locked. Now I'll show you the follow through. This is more what I teach my students to do. Creates a cleaner release. <clears throat> Let's go for a Robin Hood. Uh, okay. Nope. All right, didn't get it. So that's my style. Copy it if you dare. You may regret it. <laughs> you may live to regret it. All right, catch you guys later. See you on the flip side.